going on there YouTube? I'm back again on the TAO2 short wheelbase build. Um, I still haven't painted the body, but I did get my tires and wheels in. And um, this is what we got. These are the HPI Cup Racer Porsche wheels. They're kind of small. They are... What do we got? 42 millimeter by 25-ish and I did get the drift tires to go with them um, I started weathering these uh, I've mentioned before in this build that I want to kind of do an old abandoned race car look so uh, it's one reason why I went with a smaller tire because they are Porsche style um, I did get the offset since this is a wide body in the back these are six millimeter offset for the rear, zero millimeter offset for the front. I'm not sure yet how that's going to look, but I've got tires and wheels, so I'm going to go ahead and make them, put them together. And here's one that I've aged. Um, I had some people talk about painting these and doing the detail, but I'm not that steady-handed, so I just kind of went for a old look. And what I did is I took a flat black rust-oleum and just sprayed a heavy coat over the whole wheel and immediately wiped the high areas so with that we've got our spokes our lips are a little stained some of the dirt in the cracks and our lug nuts are exposed now, I think it looks pretty good and it's super easy to do <laughs> turning this into this now I'm looking at it up close it's imperfect there's not a whole lot of uh, evenness there's some spots on the edges that I waited too long to let dry uh, where's my front tire? Oh, it's over here. The front wheel. It's a little bit more on the edge. I, I did two coats on these. I did one and wiped it, and then another and wiped it. Um, I should have stopped. The, the reason I did a second coat is because I wiped a little too much off of the recessed areas. And instead of just coming back with a brush or a paint marker trying to touch it up, I went ahead and sprayed it all again. But, uh, I'm happy with them. They look pretty grungy, pretty dirty. Looks like something's been sitting around for a while. So, um, yeah. Got to do these second two. Uh, I'm not going to show it because it's dark outside and I'm just spraying it and immediately wiping it. It's pretty self-explanatory. Trying to get a, get it all the paint off of the surface areas, the lip and the light. And I have some water boiling. These tires are hard as a rock and they don't want to fit these worth of crap. So I'm going to boil them for a minute. Try to soften them up and then I'll wrap them in towels and try to press them on with the bench vise. So, uh, I'm gonna go check on my water and then we'll start trying to put some tires on. Alright, guys, so I've got everything on. Um, took a lot of trial and error with the wheel hubs. Um, I still haven't addressed the camber yet. I have really good, well, really bad negative camber in the rear that looks really good. So, that's what I'm gonna roll with back there. Um, the rear suspension arms are kind of loose. Mainly it's on the upper arm link on the FRP damper stay. It's very sloppy, so that'll have to be addressed because it makes the whole rear suspension just wiggle. And it's all coming from that top mount. So, um, I had some issues with t the wheels fitting this chassis. We've got not enough space here in the front so I had to shim out the wheel itself from the hub so the kingpin screws would actually stay in place and um, yeah other than that it's fixed everything the tires don't rub anymore um, I think I know some places where we can create a little more steering angle as well this is a completely different steering setup than the standard TAO2 chassis and I like it a lot a lot better but the plastic arms had some tabs on them that could be trimmed off allow a little bit more movement um, with putting these tires on these wheels they they just press in so I had some boiling water I dropped it in for maybe 10 seconds uh, wrapped it in a towel brought it into the workshop and pressed the wheel right through it worked out great took me about the third one to finally figure out the system for it so it uh but it all worked out Got them all on, didn't damage anything. 
<laughs> That's the big concern. Alright guys, so I spent some time tinkering with the rear suspension. <clears throat> I found, um, let's see if I can show you. You've got these type of screws here and it has washers that go on. Well, the washer would, was pinched between the beveled edge and the plastic upper arm. Therefore, this wasn't seating flat into the uh, FRP stay, so it was making it wobble. So I reseated those, got it tightened up quite a bit. There's still a little bit of slop. It's just, uh, I think that's coming from the lower control arm mounts, which are those long rods with the thread at, the, at only one end. So it's just inherently sloppy. So uh, giving that a rest. Now I'm up here on the front. I've got some more vintage Coast parts. This is adjustable upper arm set for all Tamiya Touring sedans. Um, this stuff's old. I made put one arm together here. It does see quick change adjustable where you can shove something in here and turn it and both sides screw out evenly. Or they both screw the opposite way so they both you get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's been a long weekend. But uh, I'm not sure they're going to give me enough camber up front. And I'm afraid they're going to create more slot because they do have ball ends on both ends. And I'm just not sure how that's going to play out. I'm going to go ahead and try to put those on and see what I get. Um, I'm not sure what these are designed for because they have the ball, the beveled edge, and the thread. So I'm not sure how to use those properly here on the FRP uppers. I may have to go through my bin and try to find some other uh, large style ball joints like that that don't have that beveled edge on there because these do mount on the back side of the damper stay and there's very limited space there so that will not fit in the way that it needs to be. So uh, yeah, I'm do some digging around here and see what I can come up with. Alright guys, so I got my front end done. I had to swap out some rod ends and do some finagling around with some different hardware. Um, I got it to work. I got a little bit of camber, not a whole lot. Um, I'm starting to not like this body. <laughs> I did a rough cut on it. I got my sides cut. I just haven't done the wheel arches yet and cleaned up the edges. Um, I don't like how you can see the chassis below the body and it's not it can't go any lower these tires and wheels are smaller than the the stock ones um, you can even see on the box art that you can see the battery mounts well not on the box art but on the finished product picture that was on the website when on Tamiya's website you can see the battery tray hanging out so I don't know what I'm gonna do just yet I'm to keep tinkering with the chassis I really love the frame. Oh, another big thing is the wheelbase isn't right. Um, I've got my front centered nicely in the wheel well, and my rear one is further to the back of the rear wheel well. So, I'm not super excited about that. I expected a much better fitment from Tamiya. But, it is what it is. I'm going to go back on the search for hard bodies. <laughs> uh, so that's why I'm holding off painting this thing so I don't know what I'm going to do yet uh, I've been looking at hard bodies trying to find something that would fit um, like I've mentioned before this chassis, the wheelbase is adjustable so I can make it a standard length and there's, I could fine tune it a little bit maybe if I need something to move forward just a hair um, that seems to be the problem with most of the like the new bright bodies and stuff. The wheelbase is a standard touring car length, but it's off by two or three millimeter, millimeters. Sorry. So, I don't know what I'm going to do just yet. I'm going to wrap this video up because it's just kind of been a bunch of odds and ends, and I hate not having one set purpose for the video. At least we got the wheels on and done. They look good. I'm happy with them. <clears throat> not everybody's going to like it. It's not a flavor for everybody, so... <laughs> That's part of the hobby. Everybody can do it their own way. So anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, stay tuned for more. I don't know where this build's going to take us. <laughs>